Hey guys, Preston Martelli here. Guys, I promised you in the last video, um, I talked to you guys about conversion funnels and how they and, and what they really are for your business and, and what they're in real life. Uh, explain to you guys what it is. And I promised you guys to show you guys the tool that I've been using to create conversion funnels and how much this thing has kind of changed my life. And I said to you before, I used to be using all kind of tools from sticky notes to things on 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 the on the fridge to you know writing out on a on a, on a whiteboard and and. and you know, just making it very, very complicated. It was very, it was not a very fun process for me. And actually, I was frustrated one time, and I came across this tool, and it actually changed my life. And actually, it actually given me a lot more for my customers. And I was kind of show you guys what I mean by that. So, the tool, without keeping you guys waiting for too long, is actually called Funnelytics. All right. So, uh, map better funnels for your for your website. And I saw this, and I was like, what the heck? And um, it seemed kind of cool from the little videos that I saw. But I was like, what do you mean? It's free forever. Um, so I went right ahead, like most people, and went ahead and created a free account. So that's what I recommend that you do. Um, um, if you click on, uh, I'll put the link in the description below, and um, it will be my affiliate link. So there will be some kind of a conversation coming to me if you do sign up. But uh, by all means, I'm going to give you guys some value um, as to why I use it and, and why I think it would be great for you to use as well. Um, so so just keep that in mind. Okay, if you don't want to use, if you don't want to, you can just go straight to the, the link. But I definitely would appreciate um, the using my affiliate link for recommending it. All right, let me jump right into it. So first thing you're gonna do is when you create a new account, um, you're gonna get into what looks like a blank slate, like it's a white canvas uh, with not much information. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on create a project. All right, you're gonna give your project a name. So I, what I did was I named them um, my different clients that I had at the time. So I'm gonna say I was doing one for my brand, I call it Javalogics. For this one, I'll just call it um, demo project for, for this particular exercise. All right, then you go ahead and hit click on create. And then what you're gonna get is you're gonna get to this page that has a couple tabs on here. Now, you're gonna have the funnels one with the free one and I, I have the upgraded account now. Uh, it's just been so awesome. And I can, I'll can i walk you guys through what, what that does. But for now, I think just try the free one. You're gonna love it and you'll be able to choose if you wanna upgrade later on. Okay, so if you take a look at what you wanna do is you wanna create create funnel. And then you're gonna give the funnel a name and you're gonna put it in your demo project. You can change it to different projects right here as well, but you're just gonna go ahead and hit create, okay? And here, as you can see, I have all of the assets needed um, for creating a, an actual funnel, all right? So as you can see, um, all the assets are already done for me here. So I'm like my thinking process, I used to have to have like a book on the side, for me to remember which ones they were. I use Russell Brunson's um, dot com secrets and it's a great tool, but guess what? All of these tools, all of these, these assets that you need, the different building blocks and building a great um, funnel are actually right here for you, right? And as you can see, I'm kind of just dragging and dropping things across um, to make an actual funnel for myself, all right? So very, very simple to do. And here's an example of one that I, I kind of built out. This is what um, most customers funnels look like when they come to me. So they they have a home page of their website and they drive all of their traffic to that that one home page. So they they do they go on Facebook and they get a post just getting some engagement and they go ahead and boost it. And then they just pretty much just burn money because they think they didn't get any conversions from it, which is the conversion they're looking for is either somebody booking an appointment, a phone call or somebody actually meeting them. And if they don't get one of these, they consider that to be an absolute waste, right? Um, and the second one is that they'll go and they'll 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 get some traffic coming in from search, and they'll try AdWords, like they'll do an AdWords Express coupon, and then they'll just put that money in there, and then they don't get one of these these actions happening, and there's no 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 funnel in place, so they think that their marketing was actually a fail. Where actually, it's probably most of the time it's not actually a fail; it's actually an opportunity for us to learn some more stuff. All right. So here, is, I know it looks a little complicated. But this is more of what I recommend most people um, to get their, their brand going to. So what I do recommend is getting, making sure you have analytics or some kind of tracking on your website to, to all of that search traffic that's coming in. Let that happen. Let that do its stuff um, coming into your website. And then you can look at the analytics and see who are the people currently visiting your website and what they are. And then that will give you some insight to do a better job at doing your Facebook ads, right? Instead of just doing a boost, you can narrow it down to gender, to age, to many specifications, geographic location, and places that your actual customers are located, 
right? You can also then use retargeting, right? You can create what's called lookalike audiences on Facebook from people who actually previously visited your website to find more people like that, right? And then you're going to look at the keywords. If you have analytics, you can see what are the keywords people are using to click to your website. And all you got to do is you got to amplify those keywords to get some more traction from it, right? So it all comes into getting that funnel and having the right data for it. Now, instead of setting all of your traffic to a home page, which is usually not the smartest thing to do because they're just made way too many buttons for people to click and chances are they're not going to do what you want them to do. Whenever you're doing any kind of paid advertising, I recommend, highly, highly recommend setting them to an offer page. So that means you're going to need to create a unique landing page for the customer that's going to allow them to make one, maybe two different actions on that page or bounce off, right? So that's going to make sure that you're going to increase the number of people that actually come to your website and take your action if you make it very, very clear and very, very specific, right? Now, after this offer page, you want to take them to some kind of a thank you page to measure this conversion coming through. And you want to kind of do that in the back end. People don't, people kind of follow through on this. And then on the, on the thank you page, that's when you can then redirect them back to your website, um, um, to your to your homepage, which you normally would do, so they can continue browsing for some additional things. But after they have done whatever the unique offer that you offer them here, okay. Now for this, you want to think think marketing, right? You want to make the maximum return of your on your on your money, and you don't want to keep paying for this click over and over again. So when they opt in, what you want to have is a very basic email sequence that helps get them through to doing the conversion that you're looking for right? Whether it's a phone call, a meeting, or a, a calendar. So basically what, what this is, is kind of like how I, how I kind of change it up from, for, for clients to help them out, making a, a conversion funnel that is a little bit more long-term and, and helps them to start building a list of who their ideal customers are and help them um, with their overall marketing. So by doing that, um, we get, you guys can see I drew that. I drew this out in Funnelytics. It was lots of fun. Um, I love doing this with customers right now. And I will show you guys a little bit later, but in the more advanced version of, of Funnel Lakes, they actually you actually can track the number of people that move through the funnel so that you can actually see what parts of your funnel are broken and what parts need um, some attention um, in terms of either fixing the, the copy or the links or the speed of the website. Um, this is really, really useful for that. All right. So that being said, um, if you have any more questions, please drop them in the comments below. Um, I'd love to engage with you and answer back to whatever questions you might have. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Right now I've got zero um, on this particular one, so please give me a, a thumbs up. And I did definitely could do some more subscribers. I've got 18 subscribers right now, so I'd love to keep building this channel and giving some, sharing all the great things I'm learning with people out in the field. All right, have a fantastic day, bye. For more information, please visit um, my website here. So if you go to l.javalogics.ca forward slash funnelytics, it's going to take you right over. And that's my referral link, um, which I will have, which I will have in the description below. Thank you.